Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to write and solve a real-world linear equation. A fruit stand sells apples, oranges, and bananas. The cost of one apple is 50 cents, and the cost of one orange is 60 cents. Ronald bought four apples and one banana. Madison bought two oranges and three bananas. The total cost of the fruit Ronald bought was the same as the total cost of the fruit Madison bought. What is the cost of one banana at the fruit stand? So let's go back to our bulleted points and we know that we are wanting to find the cost of one banana at the fruit stand. We are now knowing that they have told us that the fruit that Ronald bought is the same cost as the fruit that Madison bought. So if we go up to what Ronald bought, he bought four apples and one banana. We know that one apple is 50 cents and one orange is 60 cents. So we can go down here and say that Ronald bought four apples, so four times 50 cents plus a banana. Now we're going to Madison. Madison bought two oranges and three bananas. So Madison bought two times 60 cents plus three bananas. Now we don't know the cost of a banana. We only know the cost of the apples that Ronald bought and the cost of the oranges that Madison bought. But Ronald bought a banana that we have an unknown cost for and Madison bought three bananas. So three times the cost of one banana. So now we have our equation and we need to solve for B the cost of one banana. So let's multiply four times 50 cents is two dollars plus our banana and then over here two times sixty cents is a dollar twenty plus the three bananas so now we have variables on both sides our first step is to collect variables to one side so I'm gonna do the inverse of add B and I'm gonna subtract B from both sides to collect my variable terms to the right you could have also subtracted three B from each side but I like to go to where the variable is the largest so this is a zero pair, leaving me $2 on the left equals $1.20. 3B subtract B is 2B. So now we want to collect constants to the left because that's where our only constant is on this side. So we're going to subtract $1.20 from each side of the equation. And $2 subtract 120, let's go over here, is 80 cents. And that is equal to our 2B. This is a zero pair, so we're left with 2B. To solve for B, we're going to divide each side by 2. And then 80 cents divided by 2 is 40 cents, and that is equal to B. So we can conclude that one banana is 40 cents.